Good morning, everyone. So today is March 21st, and um, I'm gonna go attend this event about how to uh, grow coffee, be sustainable, you know, as a sustainable crop in California. Back in the 1920s, California and the government tried to get farmers, the agricultural sector, to grow more sustainable crops such as coffee. Um, what else was there? Citrus, which is pretty much done. Um, grapes, which are still being done. Um, but coffee was one of the main ones. Uh, so far, only one person has been capable of growing coffee in Southern California. It's near Santa Barbara. It's a guy named Joe uh, Rusky. I hope I said that right. Or Rusty. I think it's Rusky. And um, the way he does it, he grows his coffee under or near his avocado trees, his orchard, his avocado orchard. So he grows his coffee and avocados together. Um, so far he's been the only one that's been able to produce an entire farm of nothing but coffee. Um, last year he harvested, I believe it was 120 pounds of uh, fresh berries, roasted them himself. Gave him, you know, the coffee his own name, and uh, he's doing pretty well. So now he does events on how to, you know, teach people to kind of explain the process of how coffee is grown. Uh, what got me into it was a friend of mine runs and owns an organization called LA Coffee Club, and he, you know, you sign up, you pay 25 bucks a month, and you get a pound of coffee in the mail once a month I believe or you can have more frequent I know I go through one pound of coffee in two weeks um, I'm a huge fan of coffee I can't seem to function in the morning without it I mean I can but I'm not going to be very nice until maybe noon so they gave me some seeds well not seeds um, this is kind of an experiment Trying to grow coffee from green beans. What is a green bean? It's a bean that hasn't been roasted yet. Um, it's just been dried out. Okay. So I got two samples here. It's just some beans that he had in his house. One is a jumbo bean mandolin girl, GRL. It's uh, Sumatra. It's from Sumatra. The other one is from Colombia. It's called uh, an El Tambo. So I'm going to go ahead and give these a shot. Try to germinate these seeds. Uh, I read a couple of articles online on how to do it. And they said uh, take 10 seeds and put it in, soak them in water and let them root. Um, that seems to only have, you know, after reading multiple articles, that seems to only be a one in one in five chances that you know you're going to sprout something that's actually going to produce a leaf so it can photosynthesize and actually grow uh, which seems like very low rates extremely low rates so with my luck with germinating pretty much anything uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot I'm not going to soak in water it's not my style um, I know a lot of people soak their chili peppers or their you know, chilies or peppers before they plant them just to get that little, little tiny little sprout to come out. You know, I, I find touching it and moving around contaminates it, can damage it. I just put it in the soil. Just to be safe. Okay, so I'm going to go with my usual, you know, seed starting soil. And I have four little pots right here. So I'm going to do um, one seed each pod two of each kind and uh, see how my luck goes with uh, attempting to grow coffee. Now, if I am successful, if I am successful, there's a lot of money through state grants, agricultural grants throughout California for people that have developed a technique for growing coffee because it's very it's not 
organic to this region. I mean, most coffees are grown in, you know, Colombia or Sumatra, around Africa, where all the where there's a lot of humidity, very tropical uh, areas. So how did this guy do it? He plants it right in the right in the Santa Barbara Canyon. So it's kind of like a bowl. On one side he has mountains, the other side he has mountains. And right in his bowl is where he grows his coffee and his avocados. Right. So I went ahead and filled these up with soil. We're going to go with the Columbia. So these are the seeds right here. So these are green. I inspected them. You know, I don't see any seeds, any kind of life in these, but apparently there is. So I'm gonna find the ones that are the most closed, completely tightly shut, like this one. You know, it's not split open. It's not halved, like such as this one. Okay. And I'm gonna plant this one since I'm not sure where the roots are gonna come from. Or where the seed is going to come out from, I'm going to plant it lengthwise down. Let the plant determine. Do that part for me. All right. So two of the clo most closed beans or berries. I guess at this stage are beans. But. All right. So that's the Columbia. Let's do the same with the Sumatra regional one. Uh, yeah, let's go with this. Uh, yeah, let's do this one right here. And this one right here. have it. So I'm going to go ahead and water these. Give them a little bit of water. Um, today is March 21st. So I'm going to go ahead and time this. I'm going to see how long it takes. Um, I would say I'll probably give it I'll probably give it the same amount of time as a chili since that is the longest germinating seed that I know of, or I know there's longer ones, but that's the longest one that, that's the one that takes the longest when I put it under my grow light, it's two weeks. So after two weeks, hopefully I see something, if not, then I'm going to go through and dig through the soil and see what the, uh, see what these beans or berries look like, see if there's any growth at all, see if there's any sprouts, any roots forming. If there is, I'll stick it back in there. If not, um, I'll probably start another set. But keep these ones going, because I'm really not sure about the timing of it. Um, just cross your fingers. Uh, I'm not really certain how this is going to go. But I love coffee. If I can grow my own coffee, or at least develop a technique for germinating coffee seeds, maybe I can, you know, be awarded some kind of state grant to help teach or show people how to germinate seeds. Maybe I can develop a technique that farmers could use. All right, I'm off to an event today. It's uh, near Santa Barbara. The guy that I spoke of, Joe, is going to be there. I'm also going to see if I can speak to him about getting the clipping. Just a little, see if he has any suckers he can get rid of. And, uh, take some uh, root hormone with me, maybe a plug, uh, just so I can give that one a shot. But that's probably a long, probably a very long shot. All right, so this is my attempt at growing coffee from a green coffee bean, unroasted. All right.